Ross, obviously off the back of a 2-0 win versus Southend, it's got to be a very good result. Yeah, of course, like uh, beating um, uh, Southend who are, what, fifth in the league? Like, that's obviously a really positive result. I don't think... Um, we played as well as we could, or, or got as much control as I thought we could have. But, but obviously, like the work rate, how much we dug in, and how, how well we defended, and how much we restricted them to to just set pieces really, because uh, they are a very, very good side. Like as you can see, that like, they keep the ball well and move the ball well. So it's hard to play against. But I thought we, I thought we, we, we were competitive and we dug in and, and we showed some real fight. But we always show fight and we always dig in. So it was good to see us get some rewards for it. We were without any today. Um, can you give us a few more pointers on that? But also. We played really well without him, didn't we? It obviously means that you need to change the way we play, perhaps. But I think the, the lads responded really well to it, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, like, like one player doesn't obviously doesn't obviously make the team, but obviously he's a big miss. He's a big character, and he's a leader in the dressing room as well. So, like, he's he's unwell. That's the only reason. Um, he's been unwell all week, and he didn't quite shake it off. So he wasn't ready to sort of play today. So I'm sure he'll be back training next week and, and back fit for next Saturday but like obviously like you said like the boys stood up to the test and did, did really really well against the tough South End side and um, Justin getting a goal as well from a very you know a, a high press putting some real pressure on the um, South End defensive line and getting rewards for that which I know is something you like to see isn't it yeah I mean like I said like like they, they, I mean, it was difficult today because we were expecting it to be in a 3-5-2 and then they're in a 3-4-3 and everything sort of goes out the window that you've been planning Paladin to do so to, we move quickly into a 4-4-2 to try and get some control and, and stop the transitions and get an extra play on the back line and and, and we, 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 we struggled to probably adapt for the first 20-25 minutes which is why you may be seeing us a bit slow and, and a bit sort of like trying to figure out how it was going to look and that's the that's the boys moving to a new system which is which is obviously the principles stay the same but just trying to sort of match up so we've got that, that sort of control and transition but um, the high press with the front two press worked really really well and certainly in the Certainly in the probably middle part of the game, we got a lot of success off it, and um, I think two 0 is uh, I'd say a fair reflection, but we probably could have scored more maybe as well. And a clean sheet as well, so you know even more positives there. Yeah, really good. I mean, like obviously we've won. Well, that's, that's, a, that's four and seven now, isn't it? Like with three, three of them being clean sheets, which is really good. Um, like obviously we drive home like trying to keep clean sheets, but it's easy to keep clean sheets when you're aggressive and, and you're on the front foot and try and keep the ball and have a bit of control. I thought we controlled transitions to there like really, really well. Like, like really really well um, and that's what stops them playing and, and, and we obviously had a game plan and we had to change a little bit with the change of formation but yeah we still got it Cheers guys. Cheers Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information